Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, where today we begin our quest for amazing, incredible, totally awesome loot outside the city of Anvil, which is incredibly fitting because, well, we will also be looking for a hammer. So look at that. Freaking starting with an anvil, looking for a hammer. By the end of this video, we'll have an entire blacksmith set up. And in order to find that hammer, well, we will be traveling just to the west here of Fort Such to find Malakath's Shrine. And why is that interesting? Well, let's dive into the lore a little bit as we make our way here just to the northwest of Anvil. Because Volindrung is quite an intriguing item with a lot of little lore intricacies that many people probably don't know about. So to start talking about Volendrung as we adventure here, the first thing we need to know is that we don't know why this item is actually associated with Malakath. Like many other Daedric artifacts, there's usually some lore reason, some link that they have. Well, Volendrung is not a Daedric artifact. Volendrung is actually a Dwemer artifact that somehow, despite Volendrung being showcased in every single mainline Elder Scrolls game, has no lore link to Malakath. So we really have no idea why he has it in order to give it to us. Now, the second interesting thing about Volendrung is, like I mentioned, it has appeared in every Elder Scrolls game. Well, it also appears in Morrowind, and despite it literally being in a chest in the Corpusarium with Yagram Bagarn, he mentions nothing about it in his book about Tamrielic artifacts. So another gap somewhere in the lore of Volendrung. So not only is this a cool item, it's actually a very mysterious item. But, but that's not the real icing on the cake, okay? The real icing on the cake is that Volendrum, again, circling back to the fact that it was a Dwemer artifact, well, Volendrum was used by Dumak Dwarf King when Morrowind became its own kingdom of Resdane, and when the dwarves left Morrowind, well, a to be specific, a dwarven clan named the Rorkin clan. It is said that Dumak Dwarf King hefted Volendrung, his hammer, into the air, threw it across Tamriel, and well, where Volendrung landed became Volenfell, and Volenfell then became Hammerfell after the dwarves had settled there and a couple things got mistranslated. But as you can see, here we are right on freaking time at Malakath's Shrine, such an interesting artifact. I really do recommend you look up some of the Volendrung lore. It's very strange. The fact that it's a Dwemer artifact somehow associated with Malakath and that the Dwemer actually hate Malakath. So how about that? But we're not here to talk about lore all video. We're here to get the item. So let's start by talking to Shobab Grow Rugdush and see what he has to say. You dare come here to the shrine of our Lord? You are not one of us. I, well, you know, I'll do, I'll do what I can, all right? Uh, let's see, we do have to get his we'll disposition see. up here to at least 50 in order to progress the quest. So let's throw a couple bribes there. Now we're at 57. Say what you want about orcs, but they like gold just as much as everybody else. So let's talk about the Shrine of Malakath now. You're not one of Malakath's favorite people. He likes orcs. Too bad for you. So you approach his shrine at your own risk. All right, yep. I, I will approach the shrine. Then go on and do your approaching. <laughs> but Malakath wants a present. He likes troll fat. And he likes only troll fat. Ah, a Daedric prince of refined taste. Who doesn't love a little troll fat? You know, people say olive oil for their cooking. No, you got to get some damn troll fat in there, okay? That's the real Tamrielic delicacy. Come on, how how are you going to get a good sear on that steak without some freaking troll fat? Now, lucky for us, I do not have any troll fat, but there are some respawning locations where you can always get it, one of which happens to be an Aelid ruin just outside of Leowin. So let me open our map here, pop down to Leowin, and if you need some troll fat just like us, well, you can go to Veyond here, and there will be a respawning troll outside. So let's go ahead and pop over there. And once we're here, we just need to hunt down that dastardly troll. So where are you? He's usually up here on the ruins somewhere. Um, every freaking time I've played. So let's hop up here. 
Oh, yep, there he is. All right, well, let's quick save because you know how these freaking trolls can be. Um, but let's see. Ooh, apparently we're doing some freaking damage. The escutcheon of coral keeping us nice and healthy. And there you go. Another one bites the dust. Good work, sir, Avita. Uh, very, very nice of you. It, it's snowing again. What the hell is going on with this weather? Is one of my weather mods glitched? Oh, there it stopped. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. It seems the true enemy is climate change, not the trolls. <laughs> All right. But did we get lucky? Yes. Okay. There we go. We have our troll fat, which means we can pop right back over to Malakath Shrine. All right. Now that we have returned, let us approach the altar of the god of the cursed ones, the Orzammar, and see what journey awaits us. Do you wish to offer troll fat to the altar of Malakath? I do. You brought a present. Good. That's smart. You want something? Then if you're smart, you do what I tell you. Lord okay. Brad took my orders. Says he owns them. Lying maggot! Oh, someone's pissed. <laughs> Lord Brad put my little brothers in chains, working in the mines. I don't like that. Get over to Lord Dredd's estate. Okay. Let my ogres loose and get them out. Okay. Get Okay. When I left the offering, Malakath was summoned and spoke to me. He tasked me with traveling to the estate of Lord Drad and freeing his ogre slaves. Man, Malakath, he was feeling pretty passionate there. <laughs> guess, I guess he likes his, uh, he likes his ogres a lot. Big Shrek guy. Big Shrek guy, that Malakath. I mean, if you got a soft spot for the freaking Ogrim, which are one of his, like, hallmark followers, well, then, you know, you gotta be a big freaking Shrek fan. I mean, come on. If seeing an Ogrim, especially from Morrowind, doesn't make All-Star play in your head, like, are you even, are you even playing the game right? And, God, it is freaking snowing again. What is going on? Okay, I'm <laughs> I'm so confused. I I gotta I gotta do a check of the mod load after this. Jesus Christ! This this climate change. All this magic. You know, people are. Okay, yeah, I gotta do something with the mod load order, but that, you know, that's fine. Okay, you know, it's fine. People are worried about combustion engines. The real devil here is all that wizard magic. Okay, nothing puts out CO2 and changes the freaking climate like magic. All right, we gotta we gotta get a handle on this crap, okay? But ignoring the constant snow, which is actually hilarious, I am totally gonna leave this in the video. <laughs> All we have to do now is enter the estate of Lord Drad for a little bit of investigation, sleuthing. You're not supposed to be in here. Oh, okay. Well, excuse me, Lady Drad. Let's Please see what you gotta say. What is your business here? I'm uh, I'm here to see Lord Drad. He is my husband, a kind and gentle man. He has given me everything I might ever desire. A good guy. What a king. All right. What a freaking king. Let's uh, right. let's raise our disposition up a little bit there. What a thoughtful gift. And uh, see if we can get anything else out of him. He is my husband. Nope. Okay. Well, you forget too. that. Let's uh, let's go speak to the man himself, who's uh, seems to be getting his workout in. <laughs> Looking. Looking good, Lord. Oh, there he is. Okay, there, there's a little, uh, little oblivion magic. All right, let's let's talk, Lord Drad. What's going on? I welcome you to my humble home, stranger. What brings you to this place? Good God, he is frightening. <laughs> yeah, he looks like someone who would own some freaking ogre slaves. Look at this guy. That is like a demon. He looks like a daedra. What are you, what are, what's going on here with Lord Drad? Come on. Okay, uh, let's talk. Let's talk about those ogres. Whatever gets me out of your presence quicker. Can you think of a better use for the mindless beasts? Under my eye, they do some good in this world. Yeah, I, I can think of a freaking better use starring in a hit movie from the early 2000s. What? <laughs> Come on, you're wasting your talent here. You're sent on a gold mine, Dread. A freaking gold mine. Okay, what do we have? No creature should be a slave or I admire your efforts. Well, I think I know the path that will uh, get us to tell them where they are. I admire your efforts, uh, Lord Dread. Spoken out of the corner of my mouth in, in order to further our quest. I am quite pleased with the ogre slaves in my bleak mind. No issues of slavery with brute beasts. Profitable and legal. Well, buddy, just because it's profitable and legal 
doesn't mean you could be profiting and legaling even more if you just starred them in a freaking hit animated movie. Okay, okay chill. All right. I'll call the guards and have you arrested. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I'll I'll take my I'll take my freaking ideas. I'll take it straight to DreamWorks. I don't freaking need you. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> God, why are you getting so upset? Okay. Gee, I may be trespassing in your house, but I'm I'm telling you, I'm giving you the keys to the kingdom. You think this estate is nice now? Imagine what you could do if you had a hit film's revenue under your belt, and it's freaking snowing again. What is happening? <laughs> oh my god, I'm in rare form this video. I apologize. All right, let's let let let's just get into this mine already. I have entered Bleak Mine. Now I must free Malakath's ogres. Okay. Come, Sir Abbot. We must... Who are you? Oh, that's a guard. Okay. Damn, they're quite trigger happy. Hey, I'm here to deliver the ore. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, hello. That's the freaking hero of Kavach. <laughs> Look at that helmet. Back off. Oh, get over here, devil. Ooh. Man, this is Scutchy and of Carol just blocking all the damage is so overpowered. Come on. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, please. I've, I've got a reflect damage build. You're not going to be able to do it. Don't you see? I have the escutcheon of coral. Come on. Oh. There we go. Now we're talking. Boom. All right. How's that for being busted? <laughs> Oblivion, it, ob Oblivion's so ridiculous. Oh! Sir Avita! You... You've died! Oh. Oh, well, what, what kind of items did you have? A uh, glass bow? Okay, uh, uh, yeah. 28 health potions! Good God! Okay, well, hey. I'm, I'm not too upset now. Jesus. All right, well, this guy had a freaking glass shield. Got a cage key? Look at this. Well, you can't tell me that this quest hasn't been profitable. I mean, I mean, we got a man down, but we, 28 health potions, glass longsword, and, and we haven't even published our freaking hit animated movie now. We're already swimming in freaking valuables. Look at this. <laughs> Maybe I need to help ogres more often. I, th I think people just have their character judged wrong. Okay, let, let's go further in. All right, there you go. Uh, this one, you know, not as cute and lovable as Shrek, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll make do. I freed one group of ogres. I must check to see if there are more to be freed. Well, of course, there is more work to be done. That is, that's just one of them here. Oh, two of them. Three of them. How many freaking ogres did they clown car back in there? How, what? Okay, all right, three. That's a good start, okay. <laughs> all right, let's go to the other side of the dungeon over here. I believe we cleared out all the foes, so there shouldn't be anything to worry about. We made a... Quite the ruckus at the beginning of the freaking dungeon over there. Well, let's pop this open. I have freed all the ogres in the bleak mine. I should return to the shrine of Malakath. And ladies and gentlemen, just like that, well, we have freed our ogres and we have started our animation empire. We have six ones, though. I mean, if they made a freaking trilogy off of one ogre, well, well, you know, six times three, that's 18 times the freaking revenue that's all i'm saying well there you have it ladies and gentlemen a nice quick quest in order to get our item from malakath let's uh pop open our menu here and just travel on back to the shrine and get our item malakath oh great when i have done thy bidding give me the hammer to match my anvil from from earlier in the video it's that, that kind of reference <laughs> job. no one owns ogres but me Oh! I fix that maggot. The ogre's own drag. Make drag eat death. <laughs> now you get a present. Oh, thank you. For good work. And be nice to my little bro. <laughs> they cut him off. <laughs> Bethesda cut him off. That's pretty funny. Okay. There's another more oblivion magic right there. Okay. Quest completed. Malakath was satisfied with my efforts to start a hit series of children's movies. He has rewarded me with Volendrung. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have Volendrung with a paralyze for three seconds on strike and drain health for five points. 20 seconds on strike. A massive 
massive advantage to have this weapon freezing your foe and of course dealing extra damage with each hit a nice damage over time spell this is not something that your berserkers want to leave behind and of course might i also mention that it looks pretty freaking gnarly i mean look at that thing and i mean seriously look at that freaking item what a vicious hammer and when you get that sucker in the light well there isn't a paladin the world over that wouldn't want a chance to wield valandrung especially with that paralyze effect that drain health item this bad boy hits all the right notes and you know what let's see uh, uh let's see what it looks like you know that paralyze effect let's see how this plays out when we use it on some unwitting orcs in front of the Shrine of Malakath. Well, this is heresy at its finest, but I already have the hammer, so I don't really care. All right, show Bob. Put up your dukes. Boom. There you go. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, look at this thing. Unless somebody has Spell Reflect, they're going to just be stuck in a beautiful little ragdoll pattern. And that is why Valandrung is easily one of the strongest Daedric artifacts in the game. Paralyze is just too freaking good. Imagine that, a Paralyze effect being good in the Elder Scrolls. Couldn't, couldn't ever think that that was a thing. Yeah, this is how fights go with Valandrung. <laughs> also, why didn't y'all care about that? Wasn't, wasn't that your buddy? Okay, well, maybe he was mean to everybody. Or maybe that's just how orcs are. I don't know. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get Valandrung. A little bit of lore about it and how freaking awesome it is to actually use. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will catch you on the next one.